I like this. Abraham was heir to all by the promise. So he could lay claim to everything that was in the land and the land itself. Amen. Abraham had been given the promise. Now, we understand that Abraham was the poorest man in all the country because he lived out in the desert and lived in peace with God and Lot, rich, lived in the city and become of the governor of the city. He sat in the gate is a judge and judged the city and had all the riches and things. But Abraham was in the desert and the perhaps the poorest man in the land and yet a claim to possess it all. Amen. Amen. That's what I like. Oh, tonight we may not be rich in this world's goods, but we possess all things. Amen. The church itself possesses all things. Oh, glory. Yet poor, yet rich, and possess all things. I like that. He, we, we are a little song we used to sing years ago. My father is rich with houses and lands. He holdeth the wealth of the world in his hands. Rubies and diamonds and silver and gold. His coffers are full. He has riches untold. And we are a possessor of it because we are a child of the king. Uh, Amen. Yeah. The child always falls there, we know. Yeah. All right. Abraham could lay hold on it, yet poor. His cattle was starving. Lot took the best ground. His water was short. Hot days. And the herdsmen had been in trouble. And everything looked like gone wrong for Abraham. Yet he owned the whole thing. Amen. And today the true believer is cast out from among the people, called a fanatic, holy roller, or some kind of an insulting name, some kind of a religious fanatic, and yet is heir to the whole heavens and earth. Amen. Blessed are the meek. They shall inherit the earth. Oh, my. Talk about push you out in a cabin or somewhere. Hardly enough money to pay your rent. Yet you own it all. Amen. Amen. Have to work and toil and sweat for a few dollars to make an earn honest living, to put shoes on your children's feet and to feed their little hungry mouth, and yet own air to everything that's here, the meek shall inherit the earth. They possess it. Oh, my. Possessor. Of the earth. What is the believer? The believer has a title, abstract deed. Amen. That's right. By Jesus Christ, that he shall Hallelujah. be the possessor of this entire universe. Amen. Right. The meek shall inherit the earth. Hallelujah. Abraham had, uh, had what could possess that land. Because of what was on it, God gave it to him, and Lot was a part of that land. So Abraham had a right to it. He could, he could call uh, or lay hold on it. He said, now, God, you made me the promise that what was this land and all in it was mine. Amen. And you made the promise, now my kinsman has been taken and all he's got is gone. In other words... Well, if I'd apply today, I'd say, the church could say, Lord God, here's my brother. He's laying here stricken with cancer. He's stricken with tuberculosis. He's got so-and-so. I lay hold Amen. of the promise. Hallelujah. It's my possession. You, you told me so. Amen. Oh, oh. There you are. Then, then you can go after that enemy. That devil and slaughter it just Amen. the same as Abraham slaughtered the kings and brought back his Amen. possession. Amen. The Lord. Like that. Uh -huh. It's to the believer. 
Yet Abraham had a right to the promise, and the promise was his, yet he had to fight to possess it. Amen. Amen. There you are. The believer today, yet we're heir to all things, yet we're heir to every spiritual blessing, every physical blessing, every blessing the Bible promises, yet you have to fight every inch of it. That's the way God has got it set up. It's always been that way. You have to fight to possess what you know is your own. Amen. You have to fight to possess it. And that's what we have to do now. You say, Brother Branham, I need healing. The promise is yours. Amen. Well, if you ever get it, you ain't going to get it easy. I'm going to tell you that. Amen. You're going to have to take it away from Satan. Amen. Satan captures your health. You've got a right to go to uh, to Satan and say, give it back. Amen. Hand it over. I come in the name of the Lord, the oh, possessor of heaven's and earth, and I'll be there. Amen. Amen. Give it back. Hallelujah. You took my child. You got her mixed up with the wrong boy. You took my boy and mixed up with the wrong girl. I claim them. Amen. That's right. I claim my children. I claim my brother. Hallelujah. I claim my sister. Yes, Satan, you took them from God's house. Amen. Close them out there. But I'm coming after them. Amen. I claim them. Praise For a while, you know, I'm an heir of all things. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's given to me. I'm an heir. I can claim everything that God promised me. Amen. 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 There you are. Thank you. Mine. How do you get it? Amen. Something you done? No, sir. It's an unmarried gift. Amen. That God gave us, and it's ours. It belongs to us. Satan cannot hold it if you go to him in the, the scriptural, oh, authoritative word Hallelujah. with faith to say it's Jesus. mine. Lay it down. Amen. Hey, glory. I like that. Oh, Satan, you lay it down. You tuck it from me. You give it back because I'm serving notice on you. I've got the notice written right here on the Word. Hallelujah. Heavens and earth will pass away, but this notice shall not. Amen. So I come with this notice to serve on you that Jesus Christ said, Whatsoever I ask the Father in His name, He'll give it to me. If I say to this mountain, Be moved and don't doubt my heart, but believe that what I've said shall come to pass, I can have what I've said. Lay it down! Amen. <laughs> Amen. That gets him started. Amen. Don't get him started, it gets him running. Amen. Lay it down! Because I come with the scriptural authority. I am a believer. Amen. Get it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 